for more llamas with hats. I've been waiting for this. I'm going to put a hat on you. What about Mexican with like... We need to get her a little sombrero. Mexican with sombreros. Um, you didn't... Now, you just proved that you totally don't get the irony of llamas with hats. One of the reasons that's funny is because llamas generally don't wear hats. Uh-huh. So you responded to that by saying, how about Mexicans with sombreros? Uh-huh. You don't, and you don't see that that didn't make sense, really, because Mexicans do wear sombreros. Uh-huh. That's like saying, nuns with habits. What's a habit? Uh-huh. <laughs> you got a bad habit, and it's sitting in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> I know like touching altar boys or something. I don't understand. You're the one who just got back from a Catholic church, so I, I'm, oh. not, I'm not going to ask you what went on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the llamas with hats are shorter episodes, so we're go- we did number one. We're going to do two, three, and four this round. I can't wait to get into these. These these are so fun. Ready, guys? Here we go. Llamas with hats number two. Uh, Carl, what on earth was all that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You sunk an entire cruise ship, Carl. Are you sure that was me? I I would think I would remember something like that. Carl, I watched you fire a harpoon into the captain's face. That sounds dangerous. You were headbutting children off the side of the ship. That uh, that must have been horrifying to watch. And then you started making out with the ice sculptures. Well, thank God that the children weren't on board to see it. Uh, Carl, why is the lifeboat all red and sticky? Well, I guess you could say it is red and sticky. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? No, I would not believe that. Uh, melted gumdrops. No. Boat Fucking nectar. No. Awesome. Some of God's tears. Tell me the truth, Carl. <laughs> Fine. It's the lovely elderly couple from 2B. Carl! Oh, they were, uh, they were taking all the crescent rolls. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I will not apologize for art. Where are the other lifeboats? Whoa, you won the prize. I didn't even notice that. Where are the other lifeboats, Carl? Looking at the trajectory of the moon and the sun, probably at the bottom of the ocean. I get lots of holes in them. Oh. I have a problem. I have a serious problem. You are just terrible today. Oh, Shh. Do you hear that? That's the sound of forgiveness. That's the sound of people drowning, Carl. That is what forgiveness sounds like. <laughs> Screaming and then silence. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't take it. <laughs> that right there is one of the funniest things I've ever watched, you guys. And I'm not, I'm not even freaking kidding you. <laughs> Carl. Carl is like my hero. Carl of Llamas with Hats is now one of my all-time heroes. I mean, oh, yeah. legit. <laughs> That's what forgiveness sounds like. <laughs> oh my god. That's as hot. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna have a heart attack watching these. Oh, oh. Llamas with Hats 3, here we go. <laughs> Vacation. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You toppled the South American government, Carl. The people have spoken. <laughs> the resistance. You pushed the resistance leader into a giant fan. He was a traitor and a scoundrel. He was trying to stop you from pushing other people into a giant fan. <laughs> oh, that was a foot. I appear to have swallowed an entire person. That would be the hotel bartender. Well, that explains why my mojito is taking so long. It was horrifying. Your mouth unhinged like a snake. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. I can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the room. I want to go home. We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with orphan meat. What? what? Well, I'm building a meat dragon, and not just any meat will do. You know what? Forget it. What? I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, that's no fun. This has become the norm for you, Carl. I'll have to try harder next time. Please don't. I feel like I've been issued a challenge. Oh, it's too late now. Challenge. You... You. I totally don't remember your name. We've known each other for three years, Carl. And what an impression you've made. My name is Paul. What? I said my name is Paul. Oh, I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? (laughs) Of course I'm sure. (laughs) Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. (laughs) Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. This is... I'm not shitting you guys. This is my favorite series I think I've ever watched. And I'm not talking about just on the internet. These are the best ever. I need... I need to meet the people behind this. And that voice of Carl is familiar. Does he just sound like somebody else, or is that a famous voice? A lot of you guys might so. know. I'm trying to place who it is. And they say the who did the voice at the end of the video. Oh, do they? I didn't even see it. Maybe it's not somebody. It's, he's just got a voice that, that rings really familiar to me. I'm scared to watch 4 because Carl just accepted the challenge from Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I like how finally in episode 3 we discover that <laughs> that the other llama is a dude named Paul with the powers. And it's like, I just <laughs> I got some stuff to lead off this computer. Oh, Oh, I I love these. 
Oh my God! Whoever made these should should be should be rich. We should just whoever made these videos. We should just give them all our money. Give them. Llamas with hats for Carl. You've tracked mud all over the carpet. Now that right there is a mess. I just had it clean yesterday, Carl. I'm not responsible for this. Oh, I've been too? jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly <laughs> your hoof prints, Carl. And there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one: the imposter is a phantom. Carl, stop <laughs> avoiding. Oh. Happy birthday! It's not. Please tell me you had nothing to do with this. Why don't you blow out your candle? You've gone too far this time, Carl. What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of melting city. How did you even do this? <laughs> Adult <laughs> of fairy dust. Carl. I ripped the tag off a mattress. This isn't funny, Carl. Who's laughing? Clearly not all the people who just exploded. I'm leaving. I've had enough of this. But think of all the perfectly roasted faces we get to meet <laughs> right now. What? Why? Because roasted we're friends, faces. and friendship is two pals munching on a well-cooked face together. That isn't friendship, Carl. That's sick. Well, then you're probably not gonna like your birthday decorations. <laughs> it's not even my. Oh my God! Surprise! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. No, no! Well, I'm sorry. I thought you liked faces. Obviously, there's a miscommunication. This is awful, Carl. You're right. It's not nearly as tasteful as I pictured it in my head. I think I'm gonna throw. <laughs> oh God! One touched me. This was clearly the wrong way to go. You think, Carl? What can I say? I expected them to be cooked oh more. Raw it. face is just gross. But that isn't the problem, no. Carl. Cool. Why would you think any of this was a good idea? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. <laughs> Oh. I don't understand how you keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. These are these might literally kill me. Chris I'm Alex thinking. and Jason Steele do the voices. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. I don't know how you, you keep, keep forgetting this. <laughs> oh, oh my! These are these are the absolute best ever. I, I and I would have never found these if it weren't for. These guys recommending them. You Carl. guys recommending them to Carl. Carl is right here. I want a Carl shirt. I want. I want Carl over to the house. No, you I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> I want Carl to take the dog for a walk. <laughs> uh, ooh, who's Amanda Gurney, and why is she so hot? Oh, she's a famous finder. Does she just? Does she just like show her tits all the time? Is that what she does? I don't think so. All right, here's bonus footage. We're gonna <laughs> see if Amanda shows her boobs all the time. <laughs> oh, that was so racist. I don't know why it wasn't racist and turn on the white guy. Hey, Jay. Hey. I like Amanda. Meet my boyfriend. Okay, that's, that's enough Amanda for now. <laughs> do, you, do you know it's true? I just realized as I was watching this. Any of them where her tits were largely exposed, I didn't hear a word she fucking said. Mm. I didn't care. I still don't care. She might is Amanda Cerny, Best Minds Compilation. We might have to go through those just because there is a lot of boobage in them. So we might we might have to do one of these. That's that's, that's something to keep. Should we should we put that on the list for later? Do we add it or do we not add it? Do we add it or do we not add it? We add it. We add it. All right, it's going on the list, you guys. Uh, Amanda Cerny. Okay, so we'll be seeing that one coming up at some point too. Well, that's it for llamas with hats. I that's it's my favorite. It's just that's all I can say. It's my absolute favorite. It even makes me forget about the sadness that is this. And now we've got um, Amanda, who apparently has very sadness. nice large breasts coming up soon too. So even you can't make me feel bad enough. Well, yeah, you did. Oh crap. <laughs>